So here's how to do a drop shadow effect in Notability. First choose a lighter pen, and uh, I like to use the zoom tool. I'm going to write the first thing I want to uh, put inside of a box with a drop shadow. So this is an idea. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is choose a slightly thicker pen. I like this one here, and zoom in. I'm going to draw a box around it like so. And then uh, next I'm going to use the black color highlighter tool in that thickness. I'm just going to come under it like this and up the side like that. And uh, there you go. There you have a nice little drop shadow effect. Now you can do it around boxes, but you don't have to. You can also do it around other shapes as well. I'm going to go ahead and make an arrow like this here. Maybe I want to say this is an idea, and it leads to another idea. Then I'm going to use my highlighter and tool and just come down the side like that and down the side like that. Now, sometimes what I do is I write something a little bit bigger, then I shrink it down smaller to make it uh, look kind of cooler. Once you have drawn it big and then shrink it down smaller, it looks kind of cool. So there you go. Uh, maybe I can add another uh, set of ideas under here. Well, that's pretty cool. This is an idea leads to a cool idea. There you go, and I'm going to go ahead and put that there using the lasso tool, and then I'll put my thicker box around it, and then use the highlight tool to go like that. And well, there you go. There's how you can use the highlight tool to whoop. Oops, sorry. There's how you can use the highlight tool to do a drop shadow effect in Notability.